hope you're well. I know a lot of Line 6 fans are probably very well today because yesterday the new Power Cab shipped out and I've got the Power Cab Plus right here. Power Cab Plus. <laughs> okay, so a bit of background then. I used to use guitar amps, then the Helix came out and I got into the whole modeling, that kind of thing. Always this debate about it's a modeler, it's not a real amp, etc, etc. I went back to amps again. I came back to Helix because I wanted the convenience. I own a full PA system, so I just want to plug in and play. I don't want to deal with all cables. I mean, there's already enough cables just with that, right? Anyway, I'm very excited when Line 6 announced the power cab. So it's a 12 inch speaker. It's 30, 33 pounds, which is the most weight I ever want to carry when I'm loading into a gig because I have a lot of equipment. Um, it has several different modes. I won't go into too much detail in this video. You can find the instructions and, and um, product demos from Line 6 online. I want to give you my, my, my first initial impression and review as a gigging musician. Okay, So it has a flat mode and it has a um, different um, speaker emulations. So if you just plug it, if you just buy it, the instructions on the top here, it says just plug in, set it to the flat mode and just play as you would to a PA speaker. I did that and it sounded kind of quiet and just like my other PA speaker. Okay, so the first thing, the first tip in this video you have to do, make sure you set the input gain so the light on the top, the input light, goes to orange, not just green. So because I'm using the digital connection, I had to go to the output block on the Helix and turn it up by 10 dB, so it's now 10 dB louder. Now volume is no issue, it's absolutely perfect, sounds great. Okay, so I compared it to a QSC K10 speaker, which is what I use when I play out. Um, that, that demo is coming up later in the video, but what I found was that going in flat, it does just sound like that, and maybe it's not even quite as loud because it's... Um, the, the, K, the K10 is 2000, 2000 watts. Okay, but um, the great guys at Line 6 are on, on the Facebook group and everything, so I spoke with them. So the way to get the most out of it, um, I feel, is to disable your cab block on the Helix and then use one of the built-in cabs on the top. Don't use flat mode. Okay, so I went to the green speaker. And um, there's some other controls on the back too. There's a low, there's a low cut. Um, there's some there's some options. If you hold the home button in, control knob in, you get more options. If you're using XLR in, you can set the gain there as well. But I'm using digital, the AES link, so I didn't use that. Again, a bunch of stuff you don't need. I just want to tell you about how it sounds, okay? Um, once I did that, used the speaker in this with the Helix, then things really sounded cool. It just sounds fat, okay? And the kickstand is fantastic. You can see it's tilted back here. I won't bring it forward too much. It'll break my helix, but it goes all the way back. So you can, when you're playing, you can really hear it. Even sitting in my, in my uh, studio here, I can really hear it. It's great. Okay, so very simple. Couple of little things there to note, and um, I hope they get added to the manual, because I did read through the manual, but I didn't see that. And my first thing of unboxing was like, I want this to be quiet, you know. Typical stuff when you first get new gear, right? Anyway, if you just do those things I told you, I think you'll be very, very happy. Now, people that use in-ear monitors, people like me that do their own sound, that want to hear from the monitor, what they hear from the front of house speakers, you might want to have all K10s or all K, you know, all PA, the same brand PA speaker, so you can do your own sound by yourself. I can still see that, but I think what I'm going to do because I run a, a three or four piece band and I do the sound as well, usually. I think what I'll do is I'll plug the Helix into the power cab and I'll run an XLR out of power cab into the mixer. And then I can um, send that to front of house and monitor. So I'll have the cab behind me and the monitor, which I've been missing. I really, I really need that. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Helix sounds amazing. And I just did a show, um, what was that, Philadelphia a few weeks ago? Sound is incredible. But it didn't quite have that. I hate to say, you know, punch, but it didn't quite have the punch and the mid punch that people say they miss. You do miss it, especially if you're used to it. Okay, so a lot of personal preference here, but you don't have to do that. You can just run it as, as, as a monitor, as an FRFR monitor, and it looks great. It tilts back. It looks like an, an amp, which I always think, 
it does help, you know. I like seeing an amp on stage. Again, maybe I'm old fashioned, who knows, who knows. Um, but I'm really blown away, I think a great combination, the Helix and the Power Cab. I mean, what a great setup. And uh, you can always run two as well if you want to. But um, I'm not sure if I'll be doing that, but uh, great to have the option, right? And run, you can really spread them on the stage and have like two uh, panned effects going on. So in conclusion, after just uh, you know, a short time, um, I think it's fantastic. I think if you've got a Helix, you should seriously consider one. If you do try one in the store, make sure you set it up correctly like I told you, so you get the most out of it. Um, be prepared to tweak your patches a little bit and set the gains and everything. Um, or maybe from Sweetwater, they have a great return policy, but I won't be returning mine. And there's also a bag as well that you can buy. It's 80 bucks, you can carry it around. Um, it just looks great. I'll finish this video with a, with a picture of, of the setup. And if you've got any questions, please do comment. Okay, so this is a patch I just built for this demonstration. I have an amp, which is the US Double, and a Bluebell speaker. They're separate, so we can switch the cab on and off. The reverb is just a hall. There's a vintage digital delay, a volume pedal, and a looper. Okay, so nothing, nothing else. Um, compulsive drive in front of the amp. So a very simple patch by, by most standards. All right, so here we go. We're plugged into the QSC K10. Everything's flat on that. It's the K.2, the newer version. And we just have some reverb, an amp, and a cab. And it sounds like this. Okay, so I think it sounds really nice. I can hear some of that low end thud and a bit of the screechy highs, which people often complain about, but we always fix that with EQ, okay? Um, on, the, on the Helix itself, so that's not a big problem. I actually personally feel that sound is very nice and I guess I'm used to this sound now. <laughs> used to FRFR you'll be used to this you know that that um, mic'd amp through the monitor kind of sound and, it, and I think it's very nice I could gig with this all night and I have done okay let's see how that compares to the PowerCab Plus okay so now I'm using the PowerCab Plus and it's in flat mode so it's basically running the same as a PA speaker so it's, okay, now I'm, okay, now I'm using the PowerCab Plus and it's in flat mode, so it's basically the same as using a PA speaker. Okay, so I think they both sound great. I'm sure if you compare the two on the video back to back, you're gonna hear some differences and you'll have a personal preference. Okay, all FRFR speakers do have their own characteristics to a certain extent. But now we're gonna run the power cab with its built-in speaker. I'm going to disable the cabinet on here. Okay, it's off. And I'm gonna set the power cab on the top to a built-in speaker. Okay, so I set it to a green back speaker. So now check this one out. So again, if you run these videos back to back, 
hopefully you'll hear what I'm hearing. What I'm hearing, you have to believe me, you have to trust me, okay? What I'm hearing is that the QSC sounds great and the Line 6 run flat sounds great. But when you have the power cab with its speaker setting, it definitely has a punchier, fuller, more in-your-face tone. It probably won't trans. Um, it probably won't come through the video. I hope it does. But you just have to believe me and try it out for yourself. But the most important thing is, when you try the power cab, make sure you try just having an amp in the Helix or your modeler and using the power cab speaker. Make sure you try that because I think you'll like it. It sounds very full, very fat. Oh, name that chord. What's that chord in the comments? Now because obviously um, the speaker does sound different, I just told you it sounds more full, punchy, you'll probably have to change your settings on your pedals and your amp to compensate. So make sure you remember that as well. You just have to take my word for it. It's very fun and very inspiring to play, to play through. Yeah, I could play through it all day, honestly. Get a great guitar, the Helix with the, the amps and the sounds that you like, plug it in, use the speaker and the power cab. It sounds, it's the best sound I've ever had from any amp or any system. And I'm not, I'm not just saying that, I'm not paid to say that. It's just beautiful. If you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. I'm going to have more Helix and music instrument gear stuff coming uh, that you might be interested in. Um, yeah, I'm not going to beg, but please subscribe. Oh, and by the way, I do realize the irony of the t-shirt. Um, I just couldn't find my Line 6 t-shirt, okay? But nothing, um, this isn't ironic. Uh, two Rock are fantastic. Love, the, love Two Rock, love Two Rock. Just not right for my needs right now, so... Uh, just wanted to clear that up. Later.